this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to sew a perfect front slitted overlap skirt with perfect inseam finishing and it also has an elastic band so stay tuned to the end of this tutorial i'll be taking you through the process of sewing this this particular tutorial i'll be working with uh, two yards so i'm using one yard for the full front so here you can see i've cut out my one yard of ankara i cut 14 inches for the smaller side and 22 inches for the bigger side and i cut the lining as well as you can see so this is ankara length 45 but one part is 14 inches in width and the bigger part is 22 inches in width. So here I'm reducing the lining by one inch because the lining is supposed to be shorter than the men's skirt. So a full Ankara skirt is 45 inches. So what I did is just to cut the Ankara and the lining equal first. Then I'm reducing one one inch for both the 22 inches width and the 14 inches part of this skirt. This skirt is actually an overlapping skirt and this is how to go about it. So no matter what your hip size is, just go ahead and use two yards. You definitely have some excesses to cut off because of the front overlap. So here, after cutting the one inch, making it shorter, this is what you see or this is how it's going to be. So I'm going to lay the lining and the fabric right side to right side and I'm going to stitch at 0 0.5 inch and top stitch. So here is what I have after I've top stitched and iron. So this is the 22 inches width of my skirt. So I've, I'm going to turn it to the side of the overlap. So I'll just go ahead and match the lining and the fabric together to the side of the overlap. And I'm going to run half an inch on it. So I did that for both the 14 inches width and the 22 inches width. So you can see one is shorter than the other, the smaller 14 inches width. So I'll just go ahead and turn it to the right side as you can see right away. So just turn it like that. Make sure you give it a good press. So here I've turned the part that will be on the overlap the 14 inches width part and the 22 inches. So after turning, I went ahead to top stitch. So make sure you top stitch before you iron. So I'm going to do that right away and I'm going to give it a good press for both the overlap. So here is what I have on the 22 inches width part. And I'll go ahead and bring the 14 inches with parts. So I'll first secure with my pin. Make sure you secure the lining and the fabric together to stabilize them from wobbling. So after that, I'll bring in the 14 inches with part right now. So now we'll start up the overlap. So the parts I stitched are going to face each other. Now I'm going to make my mark on where we are going to lay but first you have to measure the slit area the slit area is at 18 inches or 22 inches and i went in by one and a half inch one and a half inch so you just go in by one and a half inch and then rule a straight line after doing that you bring either the smaller or the bigger part depending on how you want it to overlap so i want the big one to overlap the smaller one so I just bring in the other one and place it on the 1.5 inch. So I place it on the 1.5 inch. So it depends on how deep you want your overlap is. You can make that mark in 2 inches too. Okay. But I used 1.5 inch for this. So I will secure with my pin all through till I get to the end. Leaving the 18 inches from him to the point i want to stop the overlap so here you can see the overlap right there so now the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead to the sewing machine to top stitch so about my top stitching i'm going to mark my this is 18 inches i used that's what i'm trying to show so i'm going to mark one one inch from the point of that uh, overlapping that is where I'm going to top stitch. So I'll also rule a line to it. 
so just go ahead and rule a straight line so after ruling that straight line actually i lost my video clip so after i stitched the overlap line which i ruled what i did was to fold this fabric at the center front so i determined my center front from the slit line my bust span divide by two so that is how i folded it sorry i lost the video clip so i'm marking the vertical lines right now from my hip to the knee and to the hem okay so i took off the one and a half inch which i was going to use for my band so I'm marking my circumferences of my hip right now and I added 2 inches for stitching allowance and I removed 2 inches from everything I got on the hip and marked on the knee line and added 2 inches to it as well. So what I got on the knee line, I took it to the hem line and also marked. So now I'm going to rule a line across. So make sure you pin your skirts very well. So I will use a straight line, uh, a straight rule to connect the, the hem to the knee. And again, I'll use my hip curve from the hip to the knee. And then what I got on the waist is my waist circumference. I added one in because of the elastic plus two inches. So I'm going to use a straight rule. To connect that part because it's a little bit uh, wider than the hip depending on your hip size anyway so <clears throat> I tried using my hip curve but I noticed that the straight rule is better so and I connected it so the next thing I'm going to do now is to cut out since I've added all my necessary seam allowances so I'm just trying to retake my measurement before I cut so i don't make any mistake so here i'm going to cut it out immediately so this is how to cut the front part of the overlap so you need to overlap first before you take your measurement so whatever excess you have you just take it off so we're going to move over to the cutting of the back skirt right now. So the front skirt is ready. I folded the remaining one yard of fabric into two and marked out one one inch for zipper allowance as you can see right there. So I'm cross-checking to see if I still have the length of my skirt intact, taking away the one and a half inch for my elastic. So I'll just go ahead and place the center front of the cut front slit. I'm going to place it right on the center front. So note that this is the Ankara part alone I'm trying to cut. So uh, before the lining, I'll cut the Ankara already. So I'm extending the hip line, the knee line. I'm making sure everything is equal. So I marked one inch for my butt allowance. So my butt allowance is one inch. So I'll connect it from the hip one inch zipper allowance to nothing. And I'll also connect from the hip to the zipper to nothing as well. So after I'm done cutting, I'm going to follow that part to cut off. So I'm going to replace all I took in on the waist and on the knee. I'll add them up on this side. So if you have been following my skirt tutorials, you notice that I go about the sewing of my skirt this way. So the other hem part, I'll also replace it with one one inch that's on this side because we are going to cut out the center back too. So I just go ahead and mark. So I'm going to connect with my ruler. What I'm connecting right away is the part that we took off as butt allowance on the center back. So I'll go ahead to cut my skirt right now after I'm done taking out my measurements accordingly. And the part on the center back where we have the zipper, I'm going to cut them the way I just marked following the waist contour line to the knee and I'm going to take it all the way down. So now the next thing I want to do is to place my fabric. 
I'm going to place mark my one inch zipper allowance first then place the Ankara fabric on my lining to cut that is what I'm going to do next so I'm marking my one inch because I'm going to sew all the way down we are attaching our zipper at the back but we are going to cut all the way we are going to stitch all the way down so here I place my lining you can see the lining is equal but I'll still take away one inch as I did for the front because the lining is supposed to be shorter by one inch so we'll be able to turn the lining accordingly so after cutting the lining right now I'm going to head over to the sewing machine to stitch both lining and fabric together to form the hem part of the skirt so this is the waist part of the skirt I'm trying to arrange as you can see so I also transfer the notch I have on the Ankara part to the lining as well so next is to mark out my zipper allowance so this is where my zip is I'll just mark the point it's always at nine inches anyway because I'm using a short zip so from that point I'm going to mark one one inch to the down part of this skirt and I'll follow that marking of one one inch and I'm going to stitch all the way down so I will also repeat the same process I'm having on the lining on the fabric for the lining as well so I'll just mark on the chalk lines which I want to go and stitch right now after stitching right away this is what my zip looks like so I have stitched the fabric with zipper and I have stitched the lining without zipper but then I'm going to lay the boots hem together and stitch with one inch and top stitch then after doing that the next thing I did is to go ahead and also stitch mark you first of all mark out your actual measurement for fitting so I went ahead to mark my hip divide by four what I got on the waist like that and the waistline and the knee line so what I'm doing here is just fitting okay so whatever your measurement is the way we took it for the front that is exactly what I'm taking on one side of the skirt so I will take it all the way down and connect with my straight rules accordingly so it will be very easy for us to stitch what we have at the basket and join it together to the front skirt because we actually want to have a perfect inseam finishing so if you don't want to go by the inseam finishing method just go ahead and stitch your zipper to the line and finish it up and lay the two dresses together and stitch but if you want to go about the inseam finishing method you can go ahead and follow what i'm marking right here so what i'm marking here is actually the fitting process the fitting process so after that the next i'm going to do now i'm done marking this is the front the front piece with is the uh, shaping and you, you can see the lines I have all of them so the next thing I'm going to do now is to bring back the back piece you can see how I'm laying them on the back piece I'll match each point to each point because we are going to close up this on this line so make sure you secure your pin like that you can see how I'm doing that so you are going to sew them side by side having the lines where they are both on the lining and on the fabric after joining them this is what you are going to have for your skirt lining and fabric so i'm going to make a mark at the knee line to place a notch so make sure you place a notch at the knee line of your skirt so when you are ironing it it will be very much easy for you to iron so i'll just head over to the ironing table and i'm going to open up the seams here i've, I've done that 
So I'm going to open up the zipper and I'm going to turn the whole dress to the inside. So you can see me arranging it, making sure I match the seam lines and the zipper line. So I will go ahead and fold in the zipper inwards by one inch. And then I'm going to stitch the zipper to the lining to have a perfect inseam finishing. So here, make sure you arrange the whole skirt because the skirt is ready right now. The next thing remaining is to sew our band. So here, I fold in my one inch for my zipper and I'll go over to the machine and follow the stitching lines with my zipper foot. And I'm going to stitch right beside the zip. So here, I'm done with it and I gave it a good press. So the next is to take the measurement of the what we have on the waistline, okay? So I multiplied it by two and I've already cut out my strip. My strip width for my band is four inches width and I folded half an inch on the inside as you can see. So the length of it is the measurement I got from my waist divided uh, times two. And I added two inches to it. So here you can see I've stitched the ends of my band right now. So I'm going to attach this band to the skirt. I'm going to attach one side of it, the part that I did not fold in. I'm matching them right side to the wrong side. And I'm going to stitch from one end to the other. So you can see what I have right now. So I'm going to attach my elastic. I will do that by marking the center front and I'm going to mark what I have on my bust band divided by two. Then whatever I have remaining to this side, I'm going to add one inch to it. And that is what I will cut my elastic width. So my elastic width is one inch. And what I got from that point is six inches. I added one inch to it. So I'm marking what is left and that is where we are going to attach the elastic. So I'll go ahead and pick up my elastic at 7 inches and I'm going to stitch them on the band like this. So I've stitched the both sides as you can see. I'll go over to the machine and I'm going to do stitch or top stitch. So when I get to the elastic, I'm going to drag the elastic part. So here on the machine, you can see how I'm stitching the elastic part. So I'm just dragging that part as I'm just stitching. Once I get to the part of the elastic, I will drag it so I'll be able to stitch autopsy. So here, this is what I have. I'm going to stitch in between the elastic and the band right now. So you are going to top back stitch first and then drag the elastic and stitch to the end of the elastic. That is how to go about it. So here we are done with this dress and I believe you learned a lot from this class. So the skirt is ready. You can go ahead and place your buttons for the correction. So I thought of, you know, placing my buttons just to decorate this beautiful front sleeve skirt. So this is how we come to the end of this tutorial. Please stay tuned for the next one.